So today I just thought we'd take a quick look at the multimeter fuses, in particular the 400 milliamp, the bus fuse that's known as the DMM 4400 fuse, 440 milliamp. But that just gives us a 10% over of our 400 milliamp uh, range here. It is easy to switch over to your 400 milliamp range and check something and blow the fuse one or two ways, right? One is to simply have more of a load than you thought. Um, I typically try to go to my milliamp scale when I'm using a really, really low below 100 milliamp measurement. Of course, anything larger than say half an amp, you want to go to your up to 10 amp rating anyway. But when you are trying to get to that small, low reading, you do want to go to your milliamp scale, but it is easy to overrange it as well as forget and leave your leads in there and then even measure a battery or, or anything in voltage wise. We know that immediately blow that fuse. And at that point, you're glad it's just 400 milliamp because you don't even know you blew it. The 10 amp fuse, you'll about know you blow it. It would definitely mess up these small leads, but even on your regular um, flute leads, it can mess them up as well as you could feel it and definitely hear it. But I wanted to talk about the um, the fuse today because I ordered some of these fuses from eBay. And of course, this is the old one. This is probably 10 or 15 years old. It's been in this meter for a long time. But I got these in and I could tell off of eBay that these could have been faked fuses. But the price was good enough that I thought I would get them and check them out. And the first thing that I thought was, it was unusual. They didn't even try to make them close, right? I said, I remember the fuses looking distinctively like this. Probably the last time I put one in. Um, it's been quite some time ago. So then when I realized that these were faked, I definitely made sure I got a hold to a new one. And wouldn't you know it, they definitely tried to make them look very similar to the current style Busman fuse. So the old one is no more. That style is no more. So if we look, even the way you have the white background on your rating. A little bit different color blue, of course, but even the line. And, of course, it says Bassman and not Busman. And we also... Busman always crimps their end caps, and I did notice these come in more like the cheaper fuses that were not crimped. I mean, for a milliamp fuse, I probably could care less, but I just thought it might be a good comparison. Even though I don't have the best equipment for testing fuses, I can't see just how many cycles on AC it would take. I can't see. Um, I could, I guess, make it where I, I could pick up a peak. I'm just simply going to put a um, current through them and just see how far above like 400 milliamps can we go. I mean, I'm sure these will take over an amp on a steady current because they're made to pick up a quick peak. And, but I imagine they will heat up and eventually um, go when you overcurrent. So just for testing reasons, I have this FNQR1 just because I had a couple of these. And before I actually damaged one of these, since the original one's already blown, of course. I figured I'd just do a quick test on this FNQR1 and to see if I have my test set up okay and um, and maybe how much current this one I'll let go through. So just so you can see it well, I'm just going to use these little clamps. So now I have my FNQR1 and I have my power supply we can see on the screen here. I have a remote shot of it up. It's just off the screenshot here. I have it set up for right at one amp of current. And the reason I did that is I know this fuse is going to hold an amp on a uh, constant current pretty easy. So I'm just going to slowly go up to see when it trips that. We see as our current rises, we do get some voltage drop across it. We're getting about 4.5 five volts across it now kind of an interesting test to do we had over twice the rate of current i'm looking somewhere around three amps maybe to pop on where it did right at 2.8 2.9 and we went to our 24 volt setting so fuse did get warm and i can smell it and if we open this thing up this is what we're going to have. We're going to have some sand in there. 
and we're going to have our small wire wrapped around almost like thread and we're separated opened up right here but we do have our sand in there which I've always thought was for energy absorption I mean the heat of turn that sand to glass right so so next up I do want to go ahead and try one of these knockoff fuses so on the knockoff 44100 fuse we're starting off at about a quarter of an amp and going up a half amp which is really over its rating but I'm looking for it to at least go one and a half or two 1.345 1 1.75 1 1.8 so we're at 2 amps Two point five. All right, so two point five amps. And it did get a little bit warm, but it's not really. It's not hot. It's a little bit warm. So when I snap the top off of this Bassman fuse, it is a good bit of sand that come out of it, and it is actually ceramic or porcelain. And we do see our real fine wire. It's fine enough to look almost like a hair. But it was hard to break. They glued it well. And um, it was sand in it. You do have to be careful with these. One of them, when I picked it up, I actually seen the, the actual element, the little wire, actually hanging out of the cap of the fuse where they didn't actually come back and trim it off. I actually removed the label because it was actually stuck in the label some and when I pulled it out I lost it though I was going to show it but it was about a half an inch long so that could be a boo-boo but not wrapped like the rejection style fuse but how similar is it to the original bus fuse I had well not exactly As we see there, we still got our element in the center. But it's surrounded by some type of, I guess it's some type of insulation paper. But it, it's just a um, carriage there, support. We see our actual element there is fairly similar. I don't know if you can see that against my skin. So not that different there really. So back now with the actual busman fuse. And we're at 120 milliamps. 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.76, 0 0.90. We're right at 1 amp. 1.23. One point four. All right, at 1.4, it didn't take long, and it went away. And it's not warm at all to the touch. So the new one being no different than the older style really. They both uh, make them up in little cartridges or holders and then insert them into the tube with the sand. But I just thought that was interesting and by the way um, for those who don't know it when you have a meter and you do have your two ranges like this with your meter in ohms if you take your red lead going back to read back to your common because your fuse should be going through a actual shunt 
So you should be getting somewhat of a low ohm reading if your fuse is good. If you just simply read in ohms from your, your red or positive lead back to your current lead. So my 10 amp fuse is good. However, my, my 400 milliamp, well, I'm pretty sure it's bad because I got it right here. But uh, we see it's open. So I just thought I'd bring this meter out and just show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So we just got a red lead hooked up. So our 10 amp, our 10 amp is good. And as far as our 400 milliamp, of course it's not good, it would be right here. So that's the original 11 amp fuse that came, the 10% over fuse. As I take one of these Bassmans and put in here. Well now, we show that we have a shunt there. It would be what it's spake, right? But we got our 1K ohm reading back through that fuse. But that's just a little bit of a comparison the day after I realized uh, the fuses were fake when I ordered them. Um, I just thought it might be worth a comparison. And it's all relative. I mean, it's rated for a 1,000 volts. Would I put this fuse in a 1,000 volt device? Absolutely not. So these meters are actually have that category rating. So I guess just common sense, I would buy the known good rating fuse, right? So it's just worth it. But just on the bench, fooling with electronics. With the cheap fuse probably be okay well it's better than nothing so i'll i'll leave it up to you the viewers to decide but i just thought i'd share that with you the differences that i could uh do in a short video if you like this video today about these fuses please like share subscribe and thanks for watching